Hello there, and welcome to today's devotional. Today I will be reading to you from the book of Proverbs, chapter 30. We'll be reading verses 24 through 28. It says Proverbs, chapter 30, verse 24. There be four things which are little upon the earth, but they are exceeding wise. The ants are a people not strong, yet they prepare their meat in the summer. The conies are but a feeble folk, yet make they their houses in the rocks. The locusts have no king, yet go they forth all of them by bands. The spider taketh hold of their hands, and is in king's palaces. Now, if you've been reading your Bible through this year, or uh, you've been a Christian for a while, you've probably read through the book of Proverbs. And no doubt you've probably read through uh, chapter 30, the observations of Agur. And it's so interesting because here in these few verses, uh, God, through Agur, uses animals to teach us about wisdom. He talks about ants, talks about conies, locusts, and finally the spider. And today I would like to focus on that last animal, the spider. Now, in order to um, get the wisdom that we need out of this verse, there's a few observations that I would like to make. So concerning the spider, first off, Spiders are nasty. I mean, they're just creepy crawlies, you know? They got eight legs. They got eight eyes. Um, a lot of people are afraid of spiders, you know? I mean, we even have a specific English word for the fear of spiders, which is arachnophobia. However, just because they're creepy doesn't mean that we can't still learn something from them, right? So we have to remember that it was God who created the spider and ultimately gave her her place in nature, in the ecosystem. Um, it was God who gave the spider her ability to spin the web, to uh, make a home and catch insects. You see, God loves spiders. He created them. He gave them a purpose. And it was the creator who, in his great knowledge and wisdom, added this verse to his word in order to teach us about hard work, humility, and grace. Remember what it said in verse 24. There be four things which are little upon the earth, but they are exceeding wise. God, is, God uses the spider to teach us about wisdom. So let's go ahead and dive right into this verse. The spider taketh hold with her hands and is in king's palaces. Now, there's a couple of different applications that we could make from this verse, but today I'd only like to make two. The first is that the spider is a hard worker. The verse tells us that the spider taketh hold with her hands. You see, she isn't afraid to work hard and put in the necessary effort in order to achieve her desired result. In fact, it actually takes the average spider about 30 to 60 minutes in order to spin a web, uh, which it uses to catch insects. And of course, these webs have to be rebuilt, you know, sometimes every night. I mean, that's a lot of upfront effort just to catch food, but the spider does it day in and day out. Contrast that with many people in our own day and age who aren't even willing to get up to work to feed their own families. You see, God has given us all the ability to work hard. Now, of course, that doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, we all have to engage in hard physical labor for the kingdom of heaven. Um, not all of us can go and pass out tracks on a hot summer day. Um, not all of us can, you know, move tables or set things up or get things going for VBS or whatever. But all of us can pray, you know, and I would venture to say that it is more difficult, more physically and emotionally strenuous to spend just one hour in prayer than it is to go and pass out tracks or get things set up at church or whatever it is. But let it be known that God's kingdom is built on the backs of his praying saints, exhorting him to accomplish his will quickly. As it says in that final chapter of the final book, even so come Lord Jesus. The spider takes hold of their hands. She sees an opportunity and she seizes it. Whenever we see a work that can be done for God, we should seize upon it with all of our might. Let us not delay in the work for God. Let us not delay in the work of the Most High. How long will we as saints sleep while the work of God passes us by. So we've dealt with the first part of that verse. Um, the spider takes hold of their hands, but what about the second part? And is in king's palaces. Is it possible for the spider to work so hard and achieve so much that it becomes worthy to live in the house of a king? 
And this is where we come to our second application of this verse. And I think that this application is far more incredible and far more beautiful than um, what the average person would get just by passing this verse by. So let's dive right in. And in order to understand this verse, I think we need to understand first that most spiders are actually filled with venom. I mean, almost all of our venomous. But then again, so are we as people, right? You see, we are filled with that venom of sin, and it is a much more deadly venom than any spider. It permeates every part of our being and infects everything that we put our hands to. You see, to know the true application of this verse, I'd like to take a quote from, uh, the, from the Pilgrim's Progress, which is John Bunyan's book. And he said, And wherefore is this verse recorded? But to show you that how full of the venom of sin soever you be, Yet you may, by the hand of faith, lay hold of and dwell in the best room that belongs to the king's house above. You see, did you catch that? God has recorded this verse in his word to show us that even though we are so full of that venom of sin, we can reach out with the hand of faith and lay hold of eternal life, which the Lord hath promised to those that love him. How incredible it is to know that even though we are small and even though we are so wicked and evil, God has given each and every one of us the opportunity to be with him in his house, in his palace forever. And all we have to do is reach out and take hold with our hands what God has already offered to us. So the next time you see a spider, just remember that without the mercy from the king above, we ourselves wouldn't be so much better off than they. Let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you so much for this day. Thank you for giving it to us. Thank you for your word, Lord. Thank you that even though it's just a small spider, we can learn so much wisdom from it. Please help us to take this wisdom to heart, Lord, and to know that the grace that you offer us and the mercy that you offer to every single person should not be shunned, Lord. It should not be cast away. Please help us to tell others about this grace and help us to be better Christians than we were yesterday. Thank you again so much for your son, Jesus Christ, and what he did for us on the cross, Lord. We can never in a million lifetimes pay back what he did for us. It's in, these, it's in his precious name I pray. Amen. Mm -hmm. All right. Have a great day.